Everybody is still waiting on lots of Paul Pogba updates and here is our roundup of all the latest news to do with Pogba's potential move to Manchester United. Now, the first piece of news comes from an Italian journalist called Massimiliano Nerozzi. Probably the most Italian name ever. Now, he works for La Stampa newspaper. Got a good reputation. He has said that Ed Woodward is now flying back to Italy to continue these negotiations with Juventus. Now, Woodward didn't fly out to China with Manchester United for the pre-season tour, but we saw him smiling alongside Mourinho and the Glazers uh, out in China. Take from that what you will, but it sounds like he's going back to Italy, which indicates that the negotiations aren't quite complete yet. And something else that Dorotzi says on the Le Stampa website is that Juventus are already lining up their replacements for Pogba, and they have identified PSG midfielder Blaise Matuidi as a potential replacement for Pogba. Now, we've obviously been linked with Matuidi as well as a potential Pogba alternative. So it's the same sort of midfielders that are getting thrown into these circles. And one way or another this summer, maybe Matuidi and Pogba are going to move. Whether that's to United or to Juventus remains to be seen. Now, another potentially major update, this time from premium media set and Italian TV outlet. They are saying that Pogba to United has been done for some time. Price they're saying is 120 million euros. And they're saying the announcement should come on Wednesday. Now, this is not the first time that we've heard rumours of an announcement coming on Wednesday or Thursday because AS in Spain, the Spanish newspaper, was saying that over the weekend, pretty much the same thing, that, you know, negotiations have been complete and that Pogba would be announced on Wednesday or Thursday. Obviously, this is Tuesday morning we're going into now. So are we going to hear in the next 48 hours that Pogba is a United player? I mean, fans are all hoping so because it's been... What started off not looking like a transfer saga has quickly turned into one of the most painful ones that United fans have had in recent years. We've had a few. We've had, as I said before, Thiago Alcantara. Um, we've had Gareth Bale. We've been chasing him. Ronaldo been chasing him. Uh, Wesley Snyder, he's the most painful one probably. And obviously, Cesc Fabregas as well. So there's quite a few midfielders and quite a few players that have been on United's list that we're supposed to be signing that we never have. Hopefully, Pogba doesn't fall into that category. Now, there were reports at the end of last week that Mina Raiola was going to fly to Miami to meet Pogba. He's out there on holiday with Griezmann. I'm not sure what he's doing, playing some basketball with some MEA players, just chilling out after Euro 2016. Now, on Monday afternoon, Paul Pogba sent an Instagram post out with him in a pool with Raiola, smiling. Let me know, let me know your captions below for that photo. But what were they talking about? We're going to... I presume that Manchester United came up, and if it didn't, then we're not signing him. But I suppose there's distinct possibilities of, of the situation it was in. Number one is that Mina Raiola's fee was the main topic of discussion because that hasn't been agreed, and Pogba's terms have been agreed. Number two, Mina Raiola's fee has been agreed, and Juventus want to keep Pogba, and Real Madrid now want Pogba, so Raiola is discussing with Pogba where he wants to move to. And number three, and this is what I'm hoping is correct, the deal's already done. The deal for him to sign for Man United is already in the bag. They're just having a boys' weekend in Miami, sitting there, relaxing, because they know what's going to happen in the next few days. Now, that is what I hope is the case. But we don't know that yet. We can only assume, but Mariola has met Pogba and is in Miami, so he's not in Italy with Juventus, which means that if Woodward has flown back for negotiations, Mariola's not necessary there. I don't know what that means either. Now, here is what the papers are saying in both Italy and Spain today. We start in Spain. We can see on the front page of AS, they've got a huge picture of Pogba with the caption, Fight for Pogba. Now, it's all to do with Minerola's 25 to 20 to 25 million euro fee, causing the issue between Juventus and Manchester United. And Real Madrid are just in there lurking in the background. It's kind of what a lot of papers have been saying for a while. But someone else that follows up on Real Madrid's interest is Marsa. On their front page, as you can see, there's not much mention of uh, Pogba, but if you go onto their website, it's quite an important one. They're basically saying that ever since Lequip's report last Wednesday, which said the deal was done, that Man United's move for Pogba has paralysed, has sort of stagnated, become stagnant, just sat still. Uh, and they're saying that Real Madrid are there in the background waiting, and they are interested, but they can't match United's wage offer. Now, let me know in the comments below whether you're genuinely worried that Real Madrid could come in and swoop. Or do you see it as too far gone? I'm hoping for the latter, but we all know what Real Madrid can do. As we can also see, Mundo Deportivo and Sport don't really say much about Pogba at all. And if we skip over to the Italian press, we can see that Corriere della Sport, Gazzetta, 
and Tuto Sport are all more focusing on Icardi and his potential move to Napoli as Higuain's replacement because Higuain is moving to Juventus. And that might be spending the Paul Pogba money, which we've already covered in full. But in terms of an update today, there are more murmurs that there's going to be an announcement on Wednesday or Thursday. It's not the first time we've heard it, but we're now 24 to 48 hours away from getting that. Could it be announced before our game against Galatasaray? Everybody is hoping so. If not, it's going to keep bubbling on and we'll keep bringing you updates as always. So please drop a like on the video and we'll see you soon, everyone.